Yo, what up guys? It's King's Day in the Netherlands. Uh, so I'm going out with some friends uh, tonight, drink some of uh, of these, you know. Yeah, it's just an excuse to drink some alcohol. That's that's just it. Making music is really nice, but you don't always have to be a hermit. Just go out sometimes with some friends, make fun. Before I'm going to drink my ass off, I wanted to shoot this video because I made a really nice drum and bass track. Uh, it has a, some really nice dark vibes in it. I added some really dark bass lines and some dark synths. It's a really cool project, um, I'm going to show you how to make these sounds and I'm going to show you how it's mastered. So yeah, let's listen to the track. Yeah, pretty cool track, right? So uh, at first I wanted to uh, to start with the basses uh, that I made. It's just a really uh, simple Reese bass that I made in Serum. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, Reese bass. This is uh, the Reese bass that I created. I think actually it was one of the, the presets uh, from one of the sample packs that I downloaded. So yeah, how was this bass created? Uh, just two subby saws. I set the unison on 16, uh, added the MG low 18 on, from, uh, for A and B. Then I added a sub direct out and some noise. I added some distortion, a filter, an EQ and a compressor with these settings. And then as for the effects, I low pass the bass because you don't need the high frequencies as I said in my last tutorials. Uh, then I added an OTT. Yeah, then I added the VU plugin. It's it's like my favorite plugin. It's so cool. It's so fucking nice. Uh, it gives the bass a really unique sound. So if you are looking for a compressor plugin, please buy the VU compressor because it's so it's so freaking dope. Okay, guys, what I did next, I added some harmonics to the bass, like some high frequencies, so it's more present in the mix. This is the harmonic uh, bass. Uh, so I loaded up an analog BD Sin, set it to unison on sixteen. Then I added an, added an MG low 12. And for the effects, I added a distortion, some hyperdimension, and a compressor, which is pretty cool. It sounds like this. Then, uh, as I said, it's an addition to the normal Reese bass, which is in this spectrum. And the harmonic bass is in this spectrum, so it's, it really brings out the bass a little bit more. And together, it sounds like this. Pretty dope, right? So yeah, as you can hear, the bass stands out a little bit more right now. Then I added some synths to the bass, uh, which are these. Yeah, that sounds pretty amazing, right? So I added a couple of notes in the Serum. Um, I loaded up a preset, and these are the settings of this preset. What I did, I added some delay and reverb to it, so uh, it extends the presence of the of in the mix. Then the effects for this sound is just really simple. I only high passed it because you need the high frequencies of this sound. Then I added a second uh, response synth, which sounds like this. It's just pretty simple. Add some basic minis and analog BD sin. You can really shape the synth. It it's just uh, depends on the sound that you want. You can set it on two bars, which sounds like this. You can also set it on a half of a bar, which sounds like this. So yeah guys, then I added the last synth and it's a really unique sound, it's pretty cool. This one is also a preset with these settings. As for the effects of this sound, you only need like the, the mid frequency range of this sound. So I. Uh, 
I added a fruity paramedic EQ to filter out the lows and the highs. So yeah guys, then I added another synth in the silent one, which is this one. So yeah guys, this is also a preset in silent one, which you can see it's a 141. And I added a, a fruity paramedic EQ to it to filter out some of the lows. And yeah, then I added some reverb to extend it in the mix, which you can hear what it does. So yeah guys, to fill up the mix a little bit more, I added another rolling bass, which sounds like this. So yeah, I used a preset as well for this bass uh, with these settings. Apply the LFO1 uh, to all of these knobs. Uh, then as for the effects, add some hyper dimension and these uh, effects. So yeah, as for the effects for this bass, I uh, cut it uh, some of the frequencies off because I only needed the mid. I cut it off the lows and the highs. And with this sound, it sounded a little bit muddy. So I added a suit too, uh, which uh, reduces some of the resonance. And you can hear what it does. What I did then, the mix uh, sounded a little bit empty, so I added a pad in Serum. Yeah, that's just a pretty nice pad, I made it myself. So yeah, I took a normal saw wave, pitched it up 7 semitones. Then I added a basic MG uh, and I set it the unison on 7 of both. Uh, then as for the effects, I added some distortion, uh, some delay and some reverb with these settings. And then I applied the LFO 1. I applied it to the cutoff. I set it this LFO on one bar and you can see what it does over here with the cutoff. So yeah, each bar it follows this line uh, to the level of the cutoff. So yeah guys, then all the synths and the basses together sound like this. So yeah, actually something is missing from this sound. I don't know what it is. We cannot miss the drums, right? So yeah guys, the drums are just really simple. I found them in the Galaxy and the Poland Bryson sample pack. Shout out to these guys. And they sound like this. As for the effects uh, for this uh, drums, I uh, cut out some of the lows off. Then I added a transient processor to uh, shape the, the, the transients of this uh, drum loop. So for instance, the transient processor, it processes the, the drum loop like this. Then I add a G-clip to, uh, to clip the drum loop a little bit, so it's more present uh, in the mix. Yeah, this lap uh, filter cuts off some of the high frequencies, which are automated over here. And in combination with some reverb, it's a really cool effect, which a lot of liquid drum and bass producers use. Then last but not least, I added some effects to the track, which are pretty simple.
Then what did I do? I added a drum fill after every 16 bars. Then in between the drop, I added the vocal. But have you ever thought, what if this is all just a dream? So yeah guys, this is my mastering chain. Mastering is like stacking up all those small changes to your track. Then eventually you have a really clean sounding track. If you found yourself tweaking for hours, then you really have to get back to your mix or find some other samples. So yeah, at first I loaded up a Paramedic EQ to filter out some of the really, really low frequencies, uh, which are underneath 25 Hertz. If you remove those frequencies, your mix sounds a little bit cleaner. Uh, then I added a Fruity Multiband Compressor, which is a free plugin. Uh, I used the warmer uh, presets because I like it very much. Then I added another compressor to glue the mix a little bit together. Um, this compressor is from Slate Digital and I used the preset. Then one of my favorite mastering plugins, you cannot sleep on this one, it's the Ozone 10. If you don't have it, like, what the fuck are you doing? Go and buy that plugin. Uh, I added some equalizers and a maximizer. Then I added an imager for the basses, uh, which I put it in mono. Then if your mix or your track isn't really that present, uh, you really have to saturate some of the frequency spectrums. Then what I'm usually doing is for the high frequencies, I um, add some tape saturation with this preset and you can gain it with this knob. Then the mids I add some subtle saturation and for the basses I add some really gentle saturation. Then I use Su2 to filter out some of the, the muddy sounding resonances. And yeah, that's just it. So yeah guys, that was just it for this track. Uh, it's a really cool track. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and learned something from it. I'm going to the city, drink some beers with some friends. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself as well. So yeah, if you want uh, me to make another genre, for instance, melodic techno or house or I don't know, just come up with, uh, with some ideas in the comments down below and I will make that uh, genre for you guys. So yeah, guys, that was it. Please leave a like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And how do I bedank as we say in the south of the Netherlands. Ciao. Thank you.